we do have a lot of speakers who are here tonight to pay tribute to Dr. Robert Spetzer, so we encourage you to start your meal, but be mindful of the speakers. Maybe keep the clanging to a minimum if you can. Um, but we want to bring up our first speaker tonight. She has been recognized locally and nationally for her leadership in the healthcare field. She has a pretty big role when it comes to Dignity Health. Her name is Linda Hunt. I'm actually not used to seeing her all dressed up for a black tie event. You look pretty fantastic, Linda. But please welcome to the stage, Linda Hunt, the Senior Vice President of Operations for Dignity Health's Arizona service area anchored by Barrow Neurological Institute. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. How are you? You ready to eat? Yes. So believe it or not, I have known Dr. Spetzler for almost 19 years. He's amazing, extremely talented individual. The other thing, he's a very important visionary. When I joined St. Joseph's, Dr. Spetzler had a vision for growing Barrow and neurosciences at our facility. That vision led to the construction of the neurosciences tower and the creation and in expansion of the neurosciences programs and research. But I want to give you the lighter side of this. Together, you will see a never-ending series of photographs that were taken. As you can see, we've got photographs of Robert and me standing with models of the neurosciences tower, pictures of us talking about the tower, photographs of us in front of the rendering of the building, and finally, pictures of us in front of the structure taking shape. We keep changing sides, if you notice. In addition, we have pictures of us in an important event that celebrated the expanding services of Barrow and the generosity of all those who were willing to help us provide these services and programs. I have learned many things from Dr. Spetzler, but there's a couple of things that were very important. That top models and Dr. Spetzler are among the few people who can wear scrubs and refuse makeup on photo shoots and still look great. <laughs> that Dr. Spetzler is a phenomenal, talented surgeon and educator who has a passion for patients and for de developing programs to better serve them. Of the many photographs we have and we'll see tonight, there are two who stand out for me. I'd like to show you this. Even the untrained eye can detect the problem in this image. Back in 2002, a four-year-old boy was airlifted to Barrow after surgeons in Tucson discovered he had an aneurysm at the base of his skull. Enrique would need to undergo a rare cardiac standstill procedure. Unfortunately, Enrico experienced complications during the procedure. The odds of him surviving were minimal. Faced with a life and death situation, Dr. Spetzler and the medical team finished the surgery. They went out and prepared Enrico's family for the worst but hope for the best. Guess what? They got the best. When Dr. Spetzler relayed this story, he called it the Easter miracle. Enrique woke up on Easter Sunday, not only alive, but able, able to follow all of the commands. Enrique is just one of hundreds of similar stories to share about Dr. Spetzler's work. They may not all be this dramatic in details, but I can tell you for the families, they are dramatic in the results. Tonight, we honor a man who has saved thousands of lives through his remarkable skill and has influenced countless others through his integrity and dedication to excellence, education, and mentorship. So at this time, Dr. Spetzler, I would like to invite Patty White and Dr. Robert Spetzler to the stage to join me. We have a little surprise for you. 
he hates surprises. <laughs> On behalf of everyone at Dignity Health St. Joe's, thank you, Dr. Spetzler, for setting a high bar and for the the difference that you have made in so many patients, families, and colleagues' lives. We look forward to watching you continue to build your legacy for years to come. But when we thought about what do we give him, it was a struggle to find a gift that a man who had everything we could give. But in celebration of the home that you have helped build, we are naming the Neurosciences Tower in honor of Dr. Robert F. Spetzler, Neurosciences Tower. That is so warm. <laughs> that is so warm. <laughs> that was incredible. <laughs> so how are you doing? He didn't want anything named after him, but tough, right? He deserves it, and we needed to do this. So thank you so much. He got a rendering of it, and you see it on the screen. And it will be unveiled on Monday morning. Most people don't know about this. We have hidden it for weeks. And I want to just say I am honored to do this surprise for him. Way to make my oatmeal raisin cookies seem really lame. <laughs> wow. I'll rethink my gift next time, Dr. Spetzler. <laughs> don't, don't listen. You don't have to say anything. They didn't taste good. They were Starbucks cookies. I didn't make them myself. I could have done, done more. I could have done more.